Um, so I'm a mother of two boys with Duchenne, and I can't really call them boys anymore, two young men. Um, Austin is 19 and Max is 16, and both were diagnosed when they were babies. Um, Austin was three years old and Max was a new baby. Um, so we started our lives with um, advocacy. So I've worked in advocacy as both a volunteer and as a professional. Um, and then we also have been enrolled in multiple clinical trials. So um, rather than focus my career life on uh, something that didn't matter much to me, um, I decided to really focus on the boys and focus on the things that I knew. Um, we were lucky enough that Max got into a clinical trial at the age of nine while he was still walking and it ended up being the first drug approved for Duchenne and uh, he still walks a bit now at almost 17. Generally these guys stop walking at 13 um, at most. His brother stopped at 10. So um, both boys are healthy. They have healthy respiratory systems and I credit that to the uh, six years on drug. Um, now Max has been on drug for six years and um, and they're very independent boys. Austin is attending college on his own. He's been on drug for four years. Um, and now it's even more exciting. Um, we have two drugs on the market. One's a corticosteroid, uh, Emphaza, and one's Exondus 51. Um, but we also have a lot of drugs in clinical trials that are, that are looking really promising. The next generation PPMO form of um, exon skipping is looking even better. There's more protein being produced. Um, the gene therapies, uh, three companies are looking at gene therapy in Duchenne, different age groups. Uh, preliminary results from the same company that makes Exondus from Sarepta um, show that these boys, um, they're looking at their CK count. Their CK count is going down, which means less muscle is breaking down. Um, and their proteins are, dystrophin protein is, is going up. So um, being diagnosed now with Duchenne, when I talk to new families, it's incredibly exciting. Um, there's a lot of focus on it, a lot of excitement after the first drugs approved. So I think with Duchenne, um, you know, setting aside my mom hat and putting on sort of an advocate hat because my boys are older and so it's going to be different for them um, now. But so for a little guy with Duchenne right now, if I was if I if I was to say what I'm most excited about, it would be a combination approach. Um, I think that that we're honing in on all of the comorbidities of Duchenne and all of the symptoms and signs and the underlying disease. And I think we are going to end up with a cocktail in the next five years that makes Duchenne not a terminal diagnosis and, and makes you know, look, as we keep adding therapies, these boys are getting older and older. I'm paying for college, for Christ's sake. You know, my son was not supposed to live past 15, and he's, he's a sophomore in college. So I think what I'm excited about is not only the longevity, but the quality of life getting better. We're learning a lot about this disease, and I think, like I said, I think boys diagnosed in five years will be put on a stacked drug. Um, obviously the most exciting thing is gene therapy. I think that offers the most promise, but I also think there are going to be kids that, that can't qualify for gene therapy, so I think we have to keep pushing forward for these these platform trials um, that look at a comparison of a lot of different uh, drug treatments.